Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we are talking about the Town Hall 12 update that recently dropped, whether or not Town Hall 9 will still be relevant because of that, especially in League Wars, and basically how all the Town Hall levels are changing, looking at some of the new troops, defensive changes, um, just basically all the new balancing changes, how war is going to change, uh, especially in the league wars like CWL. Uh, so we'll get into that in just a moment. But first, as you can see on the screen, a new uh, clan in the One Hive Genesis family. This is One Hive Fury, and it's like the feeder clan where tryouts go um, to uh, have a tryout and to possibly move up into some of the other clans. But it's a very exciting time to try out for the family because we have One Hive Genesis, of course, in the semifinals of CWO Invite, and also Alpha having won, I believe, MCWLMW. I don't know the initials of it, but they uh, had a league win last season. And I think Trinity and Origins are even starting to get into the mix in some league play. So a lot of league uh, clans in our family, and it's a great time to apply. So the requirements real quick are Town Hall 8s that are close to max, Town Hall 9s 1515 heroes, and Town Hall 10s 3030 heroes. Uh, so if you do fit that requirement, I encourage you guys to apply to join if it's something you've been looking to do, uh, because now is a great time to do so. All right, that being said, let's get into the uh, subject of today's video as we show some attacks from One Hive Alpha. Um, this first one, a nice 10v10. But um, we're talking about all about the update that just came out. And the first thing I want to address, because a lot of people have been saying, uh, is Town Hall 9 going to remain a relevant Town Hall, or is it going to become kind of the new Town Hall 8, where you don't really see it in competitive wars? It's kind of more just like... Uh, town hall level where you start to learn how to do three-star attacks and really I don't see um, Town Hall 9 becoming much di more different uh, Because of this update and the reason is um, a lot of new, new stuff was added to Town Hall 12 And we do have a new Town Hall level that will eventually be in these league wars and in competitive wars but Town Hall 9 didn't get many changes to make it unbalanced. Right now, it's still, um, you know, we're looking at like 70%. Um, sometimes some of the top clans are on 80%. Uh, Three-star rates for Town Hall 9, which is pretty high. But we still see it as being important for scouts um, who can three-star the most efficiently to leave the most scouts for the Town Hall 10s and 11 bases, um, sometimes even uh, Town Hall 9s, two-star and Town Hall 11s. So we still see Town Hall 9 being relevant right now, and I think there's no reason why that should change. The only real changes Town Hall 9 is having is now it can bring um, higher level CC troops because Town Hall 12 has these insane uh, new troops that are added. Um, like the level uh, 9 hog rider or level 8 hog no, was it level 9? I think it might be level 9 hog rider maybe it's level 8, I forget but there's like new hogs, new valks a new lava hound level, just everything is that much more powerful, um, which will affect it a little bit, but also you have the CC troops defensively will be a little stronger uh, as well, and um, there is the buff to the witch, I guess you could call it a buff mainly, because the damage hit points are increased, the spawning of skeletons has been decreased a little bit, um, but overall it should be a buff to witches, which might make Town Hall 9 a little less balanced, because witches were already pretty powerful in some of those kind of spam-ish attacks. Um, but still, not a whole lot of huge changes to make it Town Hall 8, uh, what Town Hall 8 has become. So I think, you know, we might see less Town Hall 9s. That's probably a given. There'll be maybe 10 Town Hall 9s. But I think it's still going to be important for the diversity of the wars. Something cool to still have because um, you don't want to start excluding people and making it so you have to spend like years of your life before your account is is ready to, uh, to be in uh, League War. I guess either years of your life or thousands of dollars you choose um, so I think it'll remain but of course Town Hall 12 being introduced we'll see more uh, a few 12s maybe more 11s same number of 10s and just like less 9s or something like that um, but I think Town Hall 9 is okay um, but looking more big picture most changes this update affected Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 10 and of course Town Hall 12 because it was completely added but it was mainly those top three town hall levels that were really seeing things being dynamic and a lot of possible shifts in the meta moving forward. Um, also, kind of big picture, when you look at the Town Hall 11 update way back when, when they added Town Hall 11, 
it was really just like a few defensive levels, a few troops, and I think the Grand Warden. There just wasn't as much stuff as there is now. There was basically a new troop level for almost every troop at Town Hall 12. You have the um, Siege uh, Machine Workshop where you can build the like uh, the ground thing and the air blimp. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so that that's new. There's like 10 new hero levels. Uh, which I don't think was initially at Town Hall 11. So just so much more came than came with Town Hall 11. So it's just like it's such a shock to the Clash uh, system with the introduction of all these new powerful offensive and even defensive things. There, there weren't all the defensive levels that there were um, when Town Hall 11 was introduced either. So uh, Supercell is getting right to the point with all the new stuff you can get at Town Hall 12. Um, but let's back up. Let's talk about one above Town Hall 9 now. How do we think Town Hall 10 will be affected? I wish I had some more replays. Trust me, as soon as wars start going, you guys will see tons of attack strategy videos, how to use the new siege machines, um, how to maybe use the new freeze spell now that it's only one spell space, stuff like that. Uh, but for now, we're a little bit uh, cramped on replays just because uh, the update came out just like a, a day ago or so. Um, but for Town Hall 10, we have the Miner change, which I was wondering, you know, is my, are Miners going to be an option now? From what I've seen, they're not that strong. I wouldn't, uh, you know, place any bets on Miners right now, but who knows? Um, people might find a way to use them, but I don't think you can spam Miners like you could maybe back in the day when they were really powerful. Um, so that's not a big change but we have the clone spell and the free spell adjustments which i think is going to be a bigger change uh, the lightning spell was changed as well but i still don't think it was given enough which it probably shouldn't be you don't want people just dropping a lightning spell and taking stuff out um just easily but um the lightning spell change significant but probably not enough i think the free spell though um, having a dark spell as a freeze spell, meaning you can bring like a poison and then instead of like a second poison or maybe a skelly, you bring that freeze for like the back end inferno on like a witch bowler attack or um, you can even bring like a couple freezes on a La Luna attack. That's something I've been messing around with is bringing some freezes and kind of freezing the inferno, freezing the queen if you're doing like a skelly kill on her. You just drop the rage, the freeze, and the skelly, and there's basically no chance she'll survive. You can even freeze the bomb tower next to her. So I think the freeze spell is going to be something we're going to see in uh, a ton of attacks as like that second dark spell you bring at Town Hall 10. Um... Also, the clone spell, um, it did have, I mean, both spells had a slight nerf because they were decreased in uh, a spell factory space. So the, the uh, clone spell doesn't quite clone as much, and the free spell doesn't last as long. But um, the clone spell was also reduced from four to three spell space. And I think that's significant because now if you um, basically sacrifice like one spell space, it's really only what like a, a rage or a heal is. Um, so it's it's more manageable and I think we might see it in certain La Luna attacks where you already have a ton of spells for whatever reason and you just want to add that troop space that you otherwise can't bring. So um, that's something we might see, but the freeze spell is something I'm more confident in that it's gonna be something where people are bringing like one freeze and a lot of attacks to use um, to freeze the CC troops like on top of the Inferno, just get great value from it. Um, instead of like having a second poison or a scaly, like I said, because there's a lot of attacks where you have that second dark spell, and it's not always clear what you should bring. So I think the freeze will definitely um, have an impact. The witch buff, um, you know, is witch boulder going to be more powerful? The witches probably did get a buff because their their DPS was doubled, and their HP was also increased, which is um, significant, even though they spawned like one less skeleton. Um, but I think the witches got the buff, the bowlers got the nerf, a slight nerf, so that might balance out, but keep an eye out for which bowler attacks becoming very popular. Um, I think that uh, it's definitely already something that we saw a lot, so it's probably only going to get more powerful, although the healers had a slight nerf, so they can't heal up the witches quite as effectively. They no longer heal troops as much as they did before. Same effect on heroes, which I think is a good change because it also kind of nerfs the falcon. Um, and kind of keeps that under control. So um, overall, Town Hall 10, you know, a lot of changes that I think are good, small changes, nothing's going to be too powerful. Um, you have the siege machines now that you can hold at Town Hall 12. 
Um, a quick note on those, just for your bases, you're probably gonna wanna put your town hall on the same side as the one you want the kill squad to come from. That way, people can't use like the ground uh, battering ram or whatever it's called to basically um, serve as wall breakers and go through the entire opposite side of your base as it goes towards the town hall. Don't let the town hall become a way for people to direct the battling ram through the walls of your base. You gotta be very careful where you put your town hall now because that changes the way they can send in their kill squad and get value from the siege machines. Same with the air one as well because um, both are probably gonna be popular. Um, just so you guys know, they aren't going to be used next week in CWL. There's no Town Hall 12s and no uh, Siege Machines. That's the uh, the rule, but in the finals, we should see them, uh, see both of those in play. So just a heads up there. Town Hall 11 um, still had some balancing changes as well. Pretty much similar to Town Hall 10 in terms of what was changed. Uh, it was basically like the top levels of every troop had the same change to it. So you can kind of look at Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 basically the same way. One thing to note is that the uh, Dragon and the P.E.K.K.A. changes, once again, this is something that they've been changing like every balancing update. They've been giving that P.E.K.K.A. like more DPS, more hit points, the Dragon, same thing, more DPS, more hit points, faster shooting. Um, these are two troops that have been consistently buffed and I'm just waiting for people to figure out how to use them because I think Supercell is kind of cautiously buffing these troops. They know that they don't want to overdo it and have them just be out of control. But I think we're definitely going to see, um, I'd say, some kind of use of the Pekka or the Dragon above Town Hall 9 at Town Hall 10 or Town Hall 11. Um, in terms of Town Hall 12, there's so much we have to learn, what works, how powerful is the Electro Dragon. Just messing around with it in the developer build seems pretty strong, but at the same time, I'm not convinced it's going to be overpowered yet. Um, I haven't seen some of the new attacks with it that people are using, so we'll kind of have to wait and see there. But Town Hall 12 will, um, I guess besides the semi-finals week of CWL, will enter League Wars, probably starting with the finals of CWL. And then from there, I think, you know, there'll be a couple top Town Hall 12s in uh, next season for CWL and for other leagues. And then Town Hall 11, we might have like 10 of them, maybe like 15 to 20 Town Hall 10s. And I think there's still going to be a handful of 9s. Like I said, that's just my opinion. Um, but I don't think we're quite ready to be exclusively 10s, 11s, and 12s especially when we're still dipping uh, Town Hall 10s. If you get to the point where you can start to clear Town Hall 10s with your Town Hall 10 attacks, then you might have something to talk about in terms of it just becoming that bottom Town Hall level. But I don't think we're quite there yet. So anyway, those are just my thoughts. You know, um, as the uh, people learn how to use the Siege Machines and we start to see the Town Hall 12 stuff kind of being added and trickle down to Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11, uh, we'll see how these changes really happen and what the new meta is. I'll be sure to cover it on my channel, the best attack strategies, post update, all that good stuff. And uh, I wish I covered this update a little bit more as it was coming out, but it was just so busy with uh, school ending and then with uh, CWL, the playoffs taking off. So anyway, um, try to get maybe another upload or two out this week. But then uh, we will have the finals as usual, or not the finals, the semifinals streamed for you guys at the usual time around 1 p.m. on Sunday. So that should be something exciting to tune into. Both clans, us and Dark Looter Z, are competing for uh, a spot in the finals. Exciting stuff, and I uh, hope you guys are there. But anyway, that will do it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below in terms of how the town hall levels are being affected by the update. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.